Okay, this is my Arcade Forge Scalar tool chain. Um, one of the things that, that you, you encounter when you're using retro consoles and modern televisions is that um, a lot of them output a 240p signal, which your TV will then convert into a 480i signal and display onto the screen. Because I don't think there are any TVs that really are displaying 240p natively. Um, modern ones at least. So, if you want to have um, proper control of the picture, you need some sort of external si solution like this. Um, so, what this does is it consists of three parts. There's the sync strike, the GBS8220 scaler, and the SLG3000. The sync strike will... Um, Take your SCART input from your console, RGB SCART input there, and modify the signal into a format that the scaler can understand. And it, it's, it um, strips the sync signal from pin 20 normally, and also separates out the audio connections. So now it's in a format that the scaler can understand. The scaler will then line double the picture, so it will go from 240p to 480p which will then turn it into a format that the TV is actually capable of displaying. And then it's passed through the SOG3000, which um, will add scanline effects to the image, um, which basically makes it then appear like a 15 kilohertz arcade monitor did. Um, two of the major advantages of this then is the scaler gives you absolute control of the image. Um, one of the problems you get is that these old consoles and their their sync signals, the TVs interpret them a little strangely these days and so the image will be shifted to the right or shifted to the left or just not in the right position and mostly TVs they don't give you that kind of control that you need to get it in the right spot. Whereas this gives you absolute control of the picture so for every one of your systems you can get it exactly looking correctly. And by line doubling, before we go to the television, we can then put scan lines into the image, which basically takes those, those doubled pixels. And so you get the original image plus every other line is then blanked out in a scan line effect. So you're not losing any part of the picture by doing this. It's only the double pixels that are scrubbed. And you can change the intensity of this. And the... Uh, the good thing about that is you get that real arcade monitor look on an LCD TV. But also when you have scan lines, your eye will your brain, I mean, will add in the detail that isn't there. So it actually sort of it gives the illusion of increasing the fidelity of the picture. The picture looks better by adding the scan lines. The reason why you need to scale it before you do that is because if you add scan lines before you scale, you are destroying half of the image. Which I want to talk very briefly about this. Arcade Forge also make this. This is called the SLG SCART. And what this does is it takes a SCART signal in, adds the scan lines, SCART signal out to your television. The problem with this is because there's no, there's no scaling going on. It adds the scan lines before it scales. So what that is doing is it is destroying half of the image. By scaling first and then adding the scan lines, you get the complete image plus the benefits as I've mentioned. So this, I absolutely cannot recommend it. I bought it by accident. I didn't thoroughly read up properly. It is a very nicely made piece of kit. I gotta say that, but for 240p consoles, it's pretty useless and I would not recommend this. This, however, the Arcade Forge Scalar Tool Chain, which I've put on this <laughs> piece of ply board, bit of a ghetto solution, is essential if you use retro consoles and I cannot recommend this enough. Okay so here's Magician Lord running through the scaler but I've got the scan lines turned off now because I normally have to do this when I'm actually making footage of the games because the camera really sort of doesn't like it and uh, the picture looks kind of messed up through the camera although to the eye it's brilliant but anyway this is it without I'll go and adjust the control now. 
juice somewhere back here. Where have I put it? Okay, I got it. That's at like maximum strength. So yeah, it doesn't look so great, but if I zoom in, you can then see the effect. And really, when you're looking at the screen and not through the camera with your eye, it just looks fantastic. It really increases the fidelity to your eye, and it's the only way to play.